Right here we have the Spigen Classic Shuffle Case for the AirPods Pro 2 Second Gen. This case looks different from the previous cases that I review on my channel. It has this unit design, it has a music player design, you know those small music player from back then where you just pin on to your clothes and plug in your headset? That is what this design reminds me of. In this video I'll be taking a closer look at this classic shuffle case from Spigen. Timestamps and links to everything that I talk about in this video will be in the description. So if you see something that sparks your interest, then feel free to check it out. Right here on the front of the box, we have a nice picture of how the case looks. We also have the name of the case and what device it is for. Spigen also went ahead and note that the button features on this case are non-functional. Underneath that they also mention what is included in this box, which is a case and a carabinder. On the bottom of the box, we have the serial number of the case, the manufacture date, and where it was made, and the color of the case, which is charcoal. On the left of the box, we have the Spigen logo. On the right of the box, we have some recycling information. On the back of the box, we have some information for the customers and also the dimension, which if you compare to the actual AirPods Pro 2 dimension, you see that this case will be a close fit. On the top of the box, we have this tab here to help you open the box. While we are here, let's go ahead and see what's inside. Inside the box, we have the top of the case. After that, we have the bottom of the case. Finally, we have the carabinder and adhesive tape, a little paper from Spigen with them showing off their charger. And that's pretty much it for what's inside the box. Let's take a closer look at what is on the top part of the case. Here we have the Spigen logo right in the top center. On the top part of the case we also have the volume button and again these buttons are not functional. But this button on the back of the bottom part of the case is functional. This button right here is used to press the button on the back of the AirPods Pro 2 case. On the bottom of this bottom part of the case, we have cutouts for the charging port, the speaker and the speaker vent hole. We also have some fade button for the next previous and the volume down button. If you put the top part and the bottom part together, you get this classic mp3 player look. By the way, we also have a cutout for the LED indicator which I bet will look really good when it lights up. Here's a closer look at the carabinder. This has been like my third Spigen case review and it seems like they give you the same carabiner with all their cases. Which is alright but I think it would be cooler if they have some different carabiner designs. Alright let's go ahead and set up this case on the AirPods Pro 2. First let's put on the bottom part of the case by just sliding it on like this. Then let's put the top part of the case. Let's go ahead and first clean the surface of the top part of the case and then take off the flim from the adhesive tape and then put it on like this and put a bit of pressure for like 30 seconds or a minute. Also to put on the carabiner just simply put it on through the loop like this. Once that's done your case is good to go. Alright guys so I have the case right here and my ear pause is inside. So I'm going to slap it on on the Apple Watch charger first and see if it charges. So let's go ahead. So I put it on the Apple Watch charger. I didn't hear any chime or anything. So that means it's not working. So I'm going to go over to the MagSafe charger now and see if that works. So let's put it on the MagSafe. I still didn't hear any chime or anything so it's not charging and finally we're gonna try it on the wireless charger right here so let's put it on here boom right away it is charging so it doesn't charge on the apple watch charger or the magsafe charger but it does charge fine on the wireless charger while it's in the case i could probably just count on one hand and how many cases that i test before that actually works with the apple watch charger and the magsafe charger also when i'm doing charging tests i like to see if i have enough clearance when i plug in my wired charger so let's go ahead and plug it in like that boom right away it is charging let me turn on the charger real quick Let's plug it out and plug it in. 
boom it is charging i'm not sure why i'm not hearing the chiming sound maybe i turned it off by mistake or something usually i hear chiming sound whenever i plug it in or maybe it's full percentage or something so yeah we definitely have enough clearance for it when you plug in so no worries there with your charger bumping on the case or anything like that and this is how the curve binder works you literally just push your thumb right there and attach it to whatever you want whether it be your bag or whatever you want to do you can attach it to your bag your belt loop your pants loop wherever you want to attach it it's endless so yeah that's up to you now let's see how easily we can attach a carabinder binder to this while it's in the case so I got my carabinder binder here so I'm gonna push it through the loop let's see how easy it is boom 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 that was fast now we just gotta push this end through right there boom let's push it through this part can be a little tedious so let's push it through like that boom 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 and you're done so you definitely can put on a care binder while it's in the case nice and easy you have enough clearance and all that while i'm here i want to do a button test to see if we can press the button while it's in the case so we have a button cut out here so i'm going to press it so i know exactly where the button is by just feeling for that cut out right there so let's press it boom you see the light comes on right away i'm getting a click to it also let's press it again boom the light comes on let's press and hold you should hear like a chime let's try again Um, I'm not hearing a chime, but I'm seeing the light come on. So the button is definitely working. And if I'm quiet, you'll hear when I click the button. Let's hear closely. Yeah, so you're hearing it very clicky, nice and easy. So good job speaking to have a cutout for the button right here. And it actually feels good, like it actually feels like it's a button on there. All right guys, so now we're gonna do a speaker and a LED indicator test. And how I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna use my Find My app right here. And I'm gonna play a sound and see if we can hear the ear pods while it's in the case. So I'm gonna go ahead and play it right now. So I'm hearing it loud and clear. I'm gonna turn off the lights and play it and see if we see the LED indicator while it's in the case. All right guys, so now most of the lights are off. I'm gonna play it now and let's see if we see that LED indicator flashing while it's in the case. Wow, that looks so cool guys. Just take a closer look. Wow, bright and easily seen while it's in the case just play it one more time that's so satisfying how you just have the ring around it and then you just have this light flashing in the middle just take a look at that guys a really nice design here speaking all right guys so now is the time you guys been waiting for the actual drop test so first i'm gonna drop it on this soft carpet here and then i'm gonna drop it on hard tile so let's go ahead and do the drop test here first So I'm gonna drop it from about four or five feet. I'm about five feet tall or five feet something close to six. So five feet something I'm gonna drop it from. So I'm gonna drop it in three, two, one, zero. So guys, that drop test went pretty good, but not as good as I wanted it to. I hate when I drop my case and the ear pods fall out. So that is what happened right here. And this is on soft tiles. So one of my ear pods is there and then 
my actual earpod case is here with the next earpods beside of it and then you actually have the case kind of still open well not fully but it was open a bit and it was on the face but overall there wasn't any damage done to the case or to even the protector itself no dents no nothing no scratches just the earpods falling out which can be bad for example if you drop this on the road or something you don't want to be on the road looking for your earpods like the actual earpods you rather the case to look for the case because now it has a loudspeaker on it and that would be more easier for you so now let's do a drop on the hard tile all right guys so now we're gonna drop this on the hard tile so this right here where you see my foot is indicating that's hard tile right there so i'm gonna drop it there and see what's the result so i'm gonna drop this about five feet again somewhere about five feet something and i'm gonna drop it in three two one zero Let's do another drop test because I wasn't sure if that actually hit the carpet or hit the hard tile. But overall, nothing fell out. It was pretty much good. So let's take it up again and do another drop test. So three, two, one, drop. So that was the actual hard tile. And let me show you the result. Let me come closer to show you the result, guys. Alright guys, so this is the result right here. I dropped it on the hard tire right here and it bounced over to here and there's nothing, like nothing fell out. It didn't open. This drop was actually soft and come to think of it, this material here is actually a really soft material and it feels like the material itself has a bit of bounce in it. Like it is flexible, you can feel like the material is actually flexible so i'm guessing that's why when it hit the tile like this let me even drop it again so you guys can see like it has a bounce to it when you hit it you get what i'm saying like it has a bounce to it it doesn't just drop and take all the impact it drops then bounce a bit like absorb the impact i should say so surprisingly it actually survived the hard tile test i was hoping i was thinking that this case will not be a good protection because it kind of seems more like if a design case but just me this result is actually shocking this drop test i wasn't expecting it to be that good so yeah that was a surprising drop test and again guys this drop test is just for the extreme drop test because i'm pretty sure you might just drop this off your decks out of your pockets or something i'm pretty sure you're not going to drop it at five feet or, well i hope you don't drop it more than five feet so yeah that's the drop test right there here are my final thoughts on this case i love the unique design of this case it brings back memories of when those classic mp3 players were running the place also did you see that apple made a partner with a screen on the earpods yeah, if that feature ever comes out, I'm guessing we would have to get screen protectors for our earpods from Spigen. Anyways, this case get the job done. It might not be for you if you're looking for a low-key case. Cause I'm pretty sure if you use this case, people will be asking you, is that an MP3 player? Let me know what you think about this case in the comment section. If you're interested in this case, a link will be provided in the description. Thanks for watching. Peace.